So let me. All right, very good. All right. Hi, Cynthia. Nice to meet you. All right, I think we see some new faces. Cherise, are you new? Yes, I am. Oh. All right, welcome. You ready? Oh, yes. All right, very <laughs> good. Hey. All right, let's do this. And then I see a lot of um, new faces too. So I'll say hi to everyone eventually, but um, yeah, let's kind of get this going. So, um, and again, um, we'll start with the warm up. Warm up, I usually, it is early in the morning, so I like spending a little bit more time. Um, with the warm up when we do have these nine o'clock ones. So again, with the warm up, I do like starting off from our head all the way down to our toes. Um, so we'll get started with that right now. So let's do some neck circles. So just keeping our chin and our head close to our shoulders, our chest, and our upper back. So we want to do maybe about five to seven rotations clockwise. I personally like it slower for these. Um, you know, some some people I see their heads rotate like if you're at a heavy metal concert. Uh, when I try to hurt our necks, just trying to stretch them out. All right, let's switch directions. Counterclockwise. So again, it's very really important that we warm up. If we go straight from bed, maybe breakfast is straight to a workout, there's a lot of potential for injury. Um, so we gotta warm up. So that's why we're doing this, spending time stretching. All right, very good. So with our right hand, we're gonna grab a hold of the left side of our head and then let that weight of our arm just drop, stretch out that neck. Good. Let's switch. I love it. I think about eight of you are live right now. Usually it's just Ella and Rofany and Kelly, but now we have more faces, so happy to see that. I think Ella, you've been live since day one, huh? <laughs> awesome. All right, now let's grab the back of our head with either hand and then let that weight of our arm drop forward. I want to stretch out that back side of our neck. All right, and then with either hand, let's push up Gently, let's push on our chin. We're also stretching. All right, very good. And again, any of these stretches, if they bother you, please avoid them. I'm not trying to get anyone injured in this class. Um, any of the movements, if it's feeling funny, just avoid it and wait for the next one, okay? So let's do some shoulder rotation. So we're gonna bring our shoulders up to our ears, almost in a circular motion. Let's continue to do that. If you try to get them that high, it may be because we're a little tight or maybe just sore from a previous workout. Maybe we just think of just work that out a little bit more, All right? Reverse. Very, very good. And do just some arm rotations, keeping our palms away from our body. And again, the good thing about having you guys live on camera when I'm able to see you is because I am able to, first of all, make sure you guys are working out and not hiding behind the camera, but secondly, to do any corrections, let's reverse. So yeah, so any corrections in case you're doing an exercise wrong, I can make those adjustments for you. Um, so that's why it's always good to have the camera on. And again, the recording is only recording me. None of you folks have to worry about me 
on YouTube or any of that sort, so it's just me. So, all right, now we're gonna do windmills, so keeping the arm close to our body. All right, reverse, using one arm at a time. All right, switch arms. Did anyone work out already before this class? Go for a walk or a bike ride. Maybe a run. I walk my dog every day. Oh, great. How long? I try to go a mile or a mile and a quarter. He's a little dog, so he can't go too far. Oh, yeah. That's like 10 miles for her with little legs. Well, he'd go further, but he doesn't realize he would get too tired, and then I'd have to carry him. Switch. Six directions. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Well, that's good. Yeah, walking is always a good warm-up, too. So. Yeah, just recently I started running before 7 a.m. if I couldn't wake up, but yeah, I, I like getting stuff done right in early too. It's just a little chilly right now. All right, very good. We're going to do some torso rotations, so keeping our fists up, and then just rotate slowly. And as we're rotating, we are going to loosen up so you will be able to rotate around your hips a little bit more. And the whole time, your eyes should be locked onto your, your two hands. So you're not just keeping your head straight. Make sure you're rotating your upper body. All right, very good. Very good, very good. We're going to do some abdominal, standing abdominal um, cuts. So pretty much this one, same stance. We're going to lean over to our left and then cut across to our right and then pump. So something like this one. Lean, coming across. And then come back. And the entire time we're keeping our back straight. Okay, so we're not arching our back. This is really opening up our lower back and our abdominals, our obliques. Let's do a couple more on each side. Last one. Very good. We're going to stretch out our lats and our ribs. So how we do that is we're just going to bring our arms up and then lean over to one side. And then with that other arm, just pull it down, pull on your other arms. We're stretching out those ribs, your obliques. That entire right side should be stretching. If you're leaning the other way, the left side, I'm leaning left so my right side is stretching. All right, relax, come back up, relax those arms. Let's do the same with the left. So let's go the other way. Yeah. If your arms are tired, even you should feel the stretch. Even with your arms down, you should feel that stretch. It's too much to hold onto your arms. And let's relax. All right, very good. We're gonna do some big circle hula hoops. All right. So imagine a giant hula hoop, and we're just trying to rotate our hips out. Big giant circles. I'm going clockwise right now. You know, it's funny, when I go for my runs and I'm running by a park, I see a lot of folks walking, but most of them are, you know, ladies. It's very few men. And then I come to this class and it's 100% ladies too, so, you know, I think the guys need to catch up a little bit. All right, reverse, change directions.
And we're gonna good. Now we're gonna do hip openers. So for these, we're gonna drive our knee forward and off to the side. So it should look something like this, dragging that knee up and off to the side. If you notice, I'm not rotating my body, with my legs, I'm not doing this here. Okay, so just bring that knee up and down. Okay. It's also working on our balance as we're extending on one leg. And again, if you hear some popping, and if there's no pain, you know, it's just our muscles and our joints um, and tendons and just loosening up. But, you know, if there's a pop and there's pain, then definitely stop. We shouldn't even get to that point in this class whatsoever. Right, let's do one more on each side. Right, since we will be doing a little bit more leg movement or cardio movement, jumping around and whatnot, um, we are going to warm up the legs a little bit more. So let's do some alternating toe touches. So when we do this, it's just alternating here. So if you start off low, just kind of opposite arm to opposite leg. And as you're getting more flexible, you can swing those legs a little bit higher. I think half the class is live now. This is awesome. I think last semester it was just Ella and I, and then about 20 other blank, blank screens. So this is fun. Actually, I feel like I'm working out with others now. All right, very good. All right, now let's go on over to a wall row. You know, a nice piece of furniture that we could hold on to. We're going to do similar swings, but now we're going to start swinging back too. So, again, we're just going to swing almost all we were just now, but now I'm holding on to the, to the wall. Just want to make sure that you're balanced and safe. So, again, this movement should feel more like a leg swing instead of a, a kick. A kick should feel a little bit more forceful. A swing should feel more like you're just swinging from that hip joint. All right, let's switch to legs. Very good. Now we're gonna face the wall. And we're going to swing across our body, okay? So let's start off with the right leg. So it should look something like this. So I'm holding onto the wall and just swinging across, okay? Let's do 10 of those. All right, let's switch legs. Very good, very good, very good. Right. Maybe take a little bit of water if you guys don't mind. I didn't realize I get more dehydrated the more I talk. So yeah, when I drink water, feel free to go and drink water as well. If you need to drink more than I do, do the same. And as far as water, I have I'm actually drinking emergency right now, and then I have my other water container. So usually trying to drink about two of those containers worth of water each workout. So all right, we're gonna do the quad stretch. So when you guys are ready, we're gonna hold on right above our ankle and pull back. If you guys need to hold on to an object for balance, go ahead. Pulling back. And again, we've had some folks too that just join us for the warm up because that's about um, you know where their health is at right now, and that's that's as much as they can do with their limitations. Um, 
So, you know, if that's all you can do, that's okay. If you can do maybe 50% of the, of the actual workout, that's good too. Um, so don't feel like, you, like you're going to get judged or you're going to get punished if you miss a workout or an exercise. So let's switch. And again, the way the workouts go, they start off from, I have eight sets set up for you guys between three and four exercises per set. Um, and the way they're set up is the first few sets are pretty easier. And as we pro progress in the workout, they get a little bit more challenging. So if we're done after the easy ones, that's okay. And if you need more of a challenge, then make sure you get through the whole thing. All right, we're gonna switch out our hamstrings now. All right, so this one, make sure you guys don't lock out your knees. It's going to be, let me lower the screen a little bit. So this one, um, my feet are together next to each other, slight bend at the knees, and then my hands are just sliding down my legs. Then you should start doing that stretch as you're reaching that far point. Once we're there, let's hold it for about 10 seconds. All right, let's reach a little bit further, further south. You should be able to, as those muscles are lengthening. And if it shouldn't hurt, you should just feel a stretch. You might feel those hamstrings getting warm. Right now, if you're able to, bring those knees back. Try to straighten your legs now. Let's stretch a little bit more. And then slowly, slowly, let's come back up. Very slowly. Slow and better. All right. We have a deep squat stretch, and I do want to stretch out our ankles a little bit before we start to. So deep squat stretch, my favorite one, squatting down, hips be below the knees, my arms, my upper body's upright, I'm not slouching over, I'm up. My knees are being separated by my elbows. This is a full body stretch. All right, let's get our heels off the ground. I like those heels. Make sure you don't tip over forward. I like those heels. By doing this, you should stretch out your calves a little bit more and also your arches under your feet. All right, let's drop those heels and come back up slowly. We did this next movement similar to yesterday's class for our balance class. Uh, so if you guys could hold on to a wall or a chair, um, we're gonna do, we've done the ABCs with our ankles. Right now we're just gonna do um, numbers with our ankles to the from number one to the number nine. So let's just do that. So if you guys could just draw the shape of the numbers with your ankle, I mean with your foot, by moving your ankle, then that's what we're aiming for. Okay, so let's do our right foot first. So just one through nine. Usually we do the entire alphabet per leg on our other class, but again, I just want to warm up, not forget about the ankle. Very good. All right, awesome. Very good. All right, give yourself some space. All right, so now we need to take a little bathroom break. Now's the time before we start the workout. Um, so let's take a little one, two minute break. Um, get together your equipment, your towels, your water, 
Um, do all of that stuff and then we'll get together. I'll check the chat while you guys are doing that. Oh, 29 people. Yeah, it's a PR. All right, so great. Um, excuse me, I'm, I'm having trouble. I'm, this is kind of one of my first classes, how to do the chat again. Because okay. I want to oh, sure. sorry. So if you go, are you on a phone or on a laptop? I iPad is all I have. Okay, no worries. So at the bottom of your screen, if you tap the screen, you should see a few icons. There should be one that says chat. You see um, give me a second. It's not like that on the iPad. Oh, it's yeah, not? At the top. It's, on, it's up above on the iPad. Oh, okay. Where it says more. Yeah, oh. possibly where it says more. Oh, Got it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I've never owned an iPad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have an Android. Everything and people... on the iPad is going to be up above on the right. Got it. Thank you. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> no worries. And then Terry, if you could put your email on here. I see that you requested um, the link. I just need your email address. Do I send it to everyone? Is that how it um, said? It could just it could just be to me, just so keeping our our email a little bit private. Right. Okay, thanks. There you go. Okay, got All it. Right. All right, and then is Terry still here? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay. Yeah, Terry, if you could just giving you, I'm okay. giving you the yeah. Great. Is is the warm up the same for all of your classes? It, so for the flexibility and mobility, um, it is going to be a stretching on class mainly. So th that warm up is going to be super extended. I mean, the whole class is pretty much how the warm up is going to be. Um, I tend to spend a little bit more time on for our strength and conditioning class. Sometimes in our upper body. Um, our lower body strengthening and balance class, that one we do spend a little bit more time stretching our lower body. So, and then this one kind of gets like, you know, a 50 50 of each. So, this one's probably like the most generic warm up uh, for all of them. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm going to probably be checking into all the classes just to do the warm up at this point. Perfect. Yeah. More than welcome to. And like I said, the, the Monday class. It's just going to be stretching. So if that's all you need, um, then that might be the best class for you. And then, yeah, of course, um, the warm up. Like I said, some warm ups. When I when I have my one of my assistant coaches stretch our athletes out, he spends about thirty seconds warming them up. Um, you know, <laughs> I spend about fifteen to twenty minutes. And when I'm training them, um, I coach track and field and cross country. Our warm up usually takes about an hour. Um, sometimes they warm up three miles. They go for a three mile run and then they warm up. So, um, so yeah, so it just varies, but um, what you got today is pretty um, generic of what we're gonna be um, doing in most classes. So let me just take a picture of this in case my computer shuts off, because it has before. And yeah, I guess that's sorry, I don't. I think already one of the other classes, so I'm probably in your place. Okay, sounds good. You need to, you need to for each class, though, I need to, to document attendance. You're breaking up a little bit. I heard attendance. As long as you guys log in and show up for a minute, that documents attendance for us, which helps our active adults program. That's how we get funded. Yeah. So um, as long as you guys <laughs> log in, that, that benefits us. So... All right, okay. The more I talk, I feel the more people are gonna leave. All right, Rofani, you're, you're getting it. <laughs> All right, very good. So, okay, I'm not trying to be rude, but I'm just gonna mute everyone so uh, we don't have any background noise. So I hope that's okay with everyone. And very good, all right. Everyone's got their... Everyone's ready to go. Come on, coach, let's go. Okay, Andre. So we'll start with these two hands. So like I said, we start easy and progress as a workout. It's a little bit longer, so. Some of these movements are gonna be for time. Most things are gonna be for time. And then in between sets, I'll take about a minute or two rest, okay? So we'll start off easy. So we'll go knees to hands, so just 
Over here, just cross your knees to your hands. Fairly easy. Opening up our hamstrings, legs. And if it, this feels too easy, you can always try to skip things to it. Okay, you can always get a little hop to it. All right, now we're gonna go hammies to glutes. So now we're gonna cross over, okay? So you see how my heels are coming to that opposite glute? All right, and then on these beginning ones, we always incorporate um, jumping jacks just to get the heart rate going a little bit more. So let's do 30 seconds of jumping jacks. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, very good. Grab that yoga mat. You got some core. All right, very good. So we're going to start with some old school crunches. So again, crunches, knees are above my hip, legs are across, and then we're elevating pretty much, I think the best way to explain it is trying to bring your elbows arching over towards your hips. Okay, that's what we're trying to do. It's not a neck movement, so I don't want to see you just bobbing your head. Ready? So we're going to go for 40 seconds. If you need a little break in between, go ahead and take one, but let's try to finish the 40 seconds. All right, ready? Here you go. Twenty seconds, halfway there. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Very good. Should I rest up? Right here, we're gonna stay. We're gonna do reverse crunches now. Okay. If you don't know what those look like, I'll explain. We're pretty much in that same position, but now instead of going towards our our knees. We're going to bring the knees to our chest. Okay, so we're going to be rolling here. All right, 40 seconds also. Ready? Here you go. Make sure you're breathing. Try to keep those abs tight. seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, time. All right. Our first set, fairly easy. We have a few more to go, so. Take a little break. If you want to take a break, you can go and go ahead and do jumping jacks. Keep that blood flow going. All right. Very good. Hopefully, you're doing good. 
All right, so this one, we're gonna do side pulses. So side pulses is a halfway lunge with our arms up, okay? So sideway, like a halfway lunge and we're going diagonally, okay? So I'm not going all the way down. I'm just going halfway, so I'm putting back, putting back, okay? Ready, 30 seconds. All right, three, two, one, begin. So you're going to going diagonal. Halfway there. Five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, very good. Ready. All right, so this is almost like a standing oblique one. So it's gonna be a uh, knee drive to hook. So I'm gonna drive my left knee up. And at the same time, I'm gonna punch or hook with my right arm. So we're alternating. Okay. That's right, so that, that turning of that upper body is working our oblique out. And that bringing of the legs up is working on our hips and our cardio. You ready? 30 seconds. Okay, go. So. Five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, it's gonna be a little easier. Again, we're going to have to glutes, this one, or we're gonna open up our arms at the same time. Okay, so just continue, just let's do 30 seconds of this. Let's hop on. All right, go ahead, 30 seconds. It's gonna open up our chest our shoulders, our lats. Yeah. It also works on your coordination. Five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, very good. All right, this one. You can do it yesterday too for the lower body strengthening. We're gonna do the bunny hops. So if you guys remember those, we're gonna bunny hop pretty much not on our toes, but on our metatarsals. So on this part of our feet, we're trying to bounce back and forth, okay? So pretty much this is the movement we're doing. Okay, it's gonna work on our heels, on our arches, and also on our calves. Ready, 30 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, time. Ooh. All right, you got some core, so grab that yoga mat. So out of all my classes, this is the one that's focused more on burning calories and developing our abdominals and our back. We're not developing, but strengthening. So that's what this class is mainly for, okay? So we're gonna do planks. We're gonna do side planks. So plank, if you need some assistance, you can um, make contact from your knee to your leg and lift your body up. 
So your hips and your upper body are making contact. And if you're a little bit more advanced, it's only our elbow and our ankle making contact. Okay, so we're gonna hold this for 30 seconds. Ready? Okay, up. And if that's still too easy, you could always elevate your other leg and your arm. So hips off the ground, just your, if you can. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, ten. And you folks are gonna also notice that my 10 seconds sometimes mean 20 seconds. <laughs> just so you guys are aware. All right, left side, ready? Okay, go up. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, down. All right. That's step number two. A little water break. Minute rest in between. I'm sweating already. I don't know about you guys. Maybe. I don't know. Are you guys sweating? Anyone? Okay. And then Christmas came here early, actually. So I want to show off my new dumbbell set. Check it out. Very nice. Very nice. Got it at Costco. Okay. So like I said, usually a good deal on weight is about $2 per weight, if you could find that. Um, $2 per pound, I'm sorry, not per weight. Uh, if you could find that, that's, you know, that's a good deal. Um, I think, you know, um, I got this at Costco for, I believe about 330 for 210 pounds. So it turned out to be, you know, about $1.30 per pound. So, you know, kind of a bargain. If you try to get this set online, it's gonna cost you like $500 if you try to get it off Craigslist or off Rope. Um, so yeah, keep your eyes open. All right, enough about that. Okay, so now we're gonna start off with high knee march. Okay. So the high knee march, we're just gonna go bring those knees up and then it's gonna progress into a skip and then it's gonna progress into good. A running motion. Okay, so we're gonna do 20 seconds of each one. As we're progressing, we'll get there. So if you can only stay to the march, do the march for a minute. Okay, if you can't get to the skip, stay at the march. If you can't get to the run, just stay at the skip or stay at the march. But I want you to do non-stop movement for one minute. Ready? Five, four, three, two, and begin. So knee, knee drive. Make sure your knees are coming up as high as they can. Okay. And when we do the skip, we're getting off our heels just into our toes. Ready? Three, two, one, skip. That little hop should get you off the ground a little bit more, bringing that knee a little bit higher. Five more seconds. Three, two, all right, jog, run. I need run. Five 
Five seconds. Three, two, one, time. Very good. Yeah, that'll get to our heart rate up. Okay. Very good. All right, do you guys have some space? This next one is just running in place. But if you have a little open area out of my garage, you're just going to run in place for 30 seconds. This is not anything difficult. It's just going to keep our heart rate up and some light movement, OK? 30 seconds. All right, let's run in place. So let's run around. If you don't have an open gun, just run in place. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and almost like a little warm up, cool down in between. All right, we're gonna go straight into jumping jacks for this one. Ready? Thirty seconds. There you go. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, time. All right. Very good. Are right, we gonna do one more? All right, we're gonna do the box set step. So this one pretty much just imagine, you know, I don't know if you guys have seen videos of people behind walls. And they imitate of going down an escalator and they try to do this motion here. That's what we're aiming for, okay? But we're going to go down, so going down and then back up. So every step forward, we're bringing our body a little bit lower, okay? And then back. Alright, we're going to do that for 40 seconds. You're really going to feel that here on your quads, just a heads up. Alright, ready? Three, two, one, begin. So just about three or four steps forward and three or four back. Take two more seconds. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Not an aggressive movement, but it does the work. How was that, Debbie? Is good? I'm getting there. <laughs> all right, very good. Higher. That's all you need. Awesome. All right, let's get down to the yoga mat. Remember, we got core in this class too, so. All right. We lost a few folks. Hopefully, it wasn't too challenging. So, this one we're going to do hundreds. So, pretty much, we could take our feet and hips on the ground, lean back, and just kind of pump our arms to kind of stabilize. That might be too easy for some of you folks, but so if that is, I want you to lift your legs. And then come just your hips making contact, okay? We're gonna do that for if you're a beginner, 30 seconds. If you're more advanced, we'll go for 40 seconds. Okay? All right, 40 seconds, Ellen. Ready? Okay, go. Legs are elevated. Fifty seconds in. All right, that's thirty seconds. For being thirty, you can rest. 
Come on, Rokini, pump those arms. Five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, awesome. Very good. All right, water break. Oh, I'm definitely slowing down. Yeah, my internet connection or something got glitchy at three seconds. I don't know what happened. Woo! Good job, ladies. Good job. Man. All right, so we're down with three sets. Like I said, I have eight set up. We're going to set number four. Okay. Who's ready? Boss this year, anyone new? Leon, Leon's new. Mars. All right, we got some new people. How are you guys doing? Jean. Or is it Jean? All right, Miss Baker. All right, the folks ready? So power jacks, similar to a jumping jack, similar to a squat. We're gonna squat down and then power jack over here, okay? We're gonna do that for 30 seconds. So if you guys see my legs, they're low. I'm not too high, I'm a little bit lower. They're close together as I'm going up, they're separating. It's gonna work the quads out. Ready? Okay, squat down. Okay, go. Ooh, halfway there. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Forgot to mention that also gets you on your toes. Should feel those calves burning. All right, Josefina, hey, you got your camera on. Good job. <laughs> Very good. All right, Leon, thank you. Glad to have you here. All right, and then there were 24. It's like one person drops every five minutes. <laughs> All right, hopefully no one else drops. Okay, so this is one. Actually, let me go back to review it. I saw this one on Instagram. Personal trainer was doing it. Um, and I liked it. I thought we could incorporate it into ours. So, let me see. So this is like almost like a mountain climber. But there's a little bit more flexibility and mobility to it. So again, this one, you're gonna be in this position, drive that leg up and then bring it to the chest and then reset and then alternate with the other leg. Okay. So it's, it's like a slower mountain climber, but with more range of motion, pretty much, okay? We're gonna do that one for 30 seconds as well. So don't worry about how fast you're doing it. Make sure that you're getting that full range of motion and you're bringing that knee to your chest. Okay, so again, I'll demonstrate. So this position, right leg out, up to the chest, and then reset. And then left leg up to the chest and reset, okay? You guys got that? It's also a long workout. So it's ready. Okay, up. Begin, three, two, one, go ahead. Make sure you're sitting in that leg, bringing it to your chest. If you can't do the full 30 seconds, don't worry. 
Yeah, five, four, three, two, one, time. Ooh. All right. Very good. Very good, very good. All right, this next one, it's similar to the first one that we just did, the knees to hands, which is this one here. But this time, I want you guys with a little bit more rhythm to it and a little bit more of a skip and with our hands up, okay? So this one's gonna look something like this where we're going, okay? Keeping our hands up as high as we can, okay? If we can keep our hands up, at least let's try to do that rhythm. So it's almost like, like I said, the first one that we did, but now there's that little skip to it. Ready? 30 seconds. Three, two, one, okay. have to try out before I do any class because sometimes they burn a little bit. So did any of those, I know those were new ones, so I always like asking, um, but the new ones, were those okay? Did you guys like those? Did someone just absolutely did not like them? Or maybe you're just tired and you didn't like them? Okay, no complaints, okay. If someone has to complain, let me know, but we won't ever do it again if it goes bothering anyone, okay? Oh, yoga mat, let's grab those. Some of my athletes ask me a bunch of questions in between their workouts. And I start talking a lot, if you guys haven't noticed. Um, and I start talking a lot, and it's not because they're curious on the question they answer by the athletes, because they want more rest. So they want me to talk more so they could recover more. All right, so for this one, we're gonna do plank rolls, okay? We've done this one before. We're gonna be on that plank position, but we're gonna be bringing our hips up to the side on each side, okay? So it's working our legs. Again, 30 seconds if you're a beginner, 40 seconds if you're a little bit more advanced. You guys got that? And if that roll is too much, just give me a regular plank, which is going to be this position. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, begin. So again, it's not for speed. It's for mobility. Make sure we get that range of motion. I'm more concerned with proper form instead of how many of these you can do. Like 15 seconds. That's 30 seconds. Three, two, one, time. All right, very good. One minute rest. All right, get some water. All right, we didn't lose anyone on that set. Very good. Okay. Great. Yeah. If you have to leave early because you have something else to do, that's that's okay. No problem. Um, just remember to leave me your email address on, on here. I know um, some of you guys have done it before, um, but it's just a lot easier. Otherwise, I only see your email address when I do attendance. And sometimes I don't do that to the end of the day. So I could get this done easier if you just leave your address. So if you want the video link, just put your address on here.
Charisse, how are you? Rofani? Oh, yeah. I noticed while I was doing the planks, or doing the roll, when I roll to my right, uh -huh. I noticed like my elbow slightly hurts a bit, or I think the, the weight may be being distributed on there. Okay. Um, so for that, were you rolling your elbows or were you keeping them in place? I think I was trying to keep them in place because it's a position, right? Which is right. Stable, so. Right. Yeah, so I try to keep my palms together too. Sorry, I forgot to mention that, or next to each other. So I almost try to like hold them. Well, yeah. Right, yeah. So that just kind of gives like a more secure base. So remember, you're rotating the hips, yeah, keeping. And then I also have my feet together. I see your feet are, or your legs are a little bit separated. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Like I said, um, yeah, sometimes it could just be how we're feeling. Um, maybe it's just that, that elbow is just feeling funky today. So um, just give me one second, give you guys a little bit more rest. All right, very good, okay. So we're a little bit about halfway now. Again, you guys are doing good. I'm sweating. Okay. So this next one is also, all right, thank you, Karina. Um, this next one is going to be a new one. So if you guys done bear crawls before, it's a variation of it. So we're gonna go in on our fours and then just go about four steps over and then four steps back, okay? And if you can't do the steps, then even if you get in this position and just shift your legs back and forth, that's developing some strength in our upper body, okay? So it's, it's sometimes a little bit challenging to do cardio with our upper body, um, but we can do it with this movement. So you guys got that, so we'll do that for 30 seconds. So again, just kind of go forward and go back and go forward. All right. 30 seconds, ready, okay, up, okay, go. Halfway there. Five. Four, three, two, one, time. Whew. I gotta, I gotta mop my floor. <laughs> that was dirty. A lot of items there. Check the chat real quick. Um, all right. Okay. All right, Leah. Got your email address. Thank you. All right, and then number 22, drop the feet on that one. All right, so this next one's kind of an easier one for you to do ice skaters. So I don't think we have skaters today. We don't. So I'm gonna do this one because I do feel my groin's a little bit tight. So we're gonna do ice skaters. So ice skaters, is we're just shifting left to right. Most of you guys should be able to do this one with no problems. You should feel that stretch in your groin. If that's too easy and you want more of an uh, aggressive, I guess more of an actual like heavy movement, you could do regular skaters, which is jumping off to the side and lunging forward, okay? More like a squat variation. I'm gonna do the regular ice skaters though, so I'm a little tired today. <laughs> All right, so we'll go 30 seconds. Ready, okay, go. So just left to right. All right, get it, rough knee. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, time. 
Very good. Let's go ahead and get our yoga mat. And then also, if you guys, I have my little library of exercises, which is about maybe about 80 for each one. And sometimes there's some that I do like more than others. Um, but if you guys know of a different movement for any of my classes, maybe for cardio for this one or for core that we could incorporate, just go ahead and share that with us. And you know, that's, that's more of a variety for our workouts too. So any, anything helps. All right, so for this next one, we're gonna do roll-ups. So some people call these in and outs. I like calling them roll-ups. So pretty much I'm gonna have my, my hands behind my neck, protecting my head. And I'm gonna lift my legs, bring them in and lift them up and then out, okay? If that movement up is too much, then I want you to just bring them in and then bring them out, okay? You guys ready? I'll check the chat after this movement. We'll start in three, two, one. Okay, go. Again, 30 seconds for beginners, 40 seconds if you're more advanced. Ten more seconds, we'll be at 30. All right, 30 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Ooh, pretty good. Get your minute rest. That's your reward. One minute. Oh, good job, good job. Oh, we lost someone else. I think there's an intro to guitar lessons today at 10. So maybe we have some musicians in this class. Okay. All right, Ursula. I see, yeah, I see that you wanna see push-ups. So yeah, so push-ups. Um, we do those in our strength and conditioning class. It's not so much of a cardio movement um, or core, so that's kind of like why it's left out from this class. So, so yeah. But um, but push-ups, yeah, for sure, that's in strength and conditioning. Um, again, we could do a lot more stuff if we had more, a little bit more equipment. So if you guys, um, like I said, I have my resistance bands. I have a lot of dumbbells now. Um, so if you guys could get something. You know, like I said, Ross and Marshalls or Amazon is probably like your best bet. Now I'm not asking you to go and spend $300, but um, I think like 15 or $20, you could get a lot worthwhile, so. All right. I know that for like doing push-ups, if you, um, you wanna exercise up, but you don't wanna do like the push-up movement, you can just hold a plank. That's what in a lot of my other exercise classes, we do that as a substitute for those that are like really beginners. You do okay. it instead of the push-up, if you can't do the push-up. Right, yeah, and, and the plank is going to benefit our, our core um, and some muscle endurance in our arm, but the push-up is made for, for the chest movement and then some arms. So um, when we do have that variation, uh, we, we do the applying the knees to it. So we could still do it for beginners um, with, on our knees. So yeah, but, um, but, yeah, but for this class itself, um, it's just, it doesn't even kind of go in the curriculum of the class, but bring push-ups in there. So hopefully you guys can understand. Um, but yeah, so sorry, we're gonna need to get some water. And also um, some of these classes were structured based on a, on a survey from last semester and kind of uh, word of mouth of the students. And our population for these classes, you know, it's mainly ladies, um, almost as a consensus, you know, some of the goals were to lose weight and also develop our lower body strength too. 
So a lot of the classes were catering um, to kind of like that, those muscle groups a little bit more, but that's, we still have strength conditioning to work the full body, so. All right, so ready for set number six. This one's a slightly shorter set. Um, shouldn't take us too long, it's only three exercises. Okay, we're gonna start off with the side shuffle rise. So again, down here, crab walk, three crab walks, come up. And if the coming up is too easy, as you're coming up, you can jump up. Okay, so you could do that one too, so. All right, that's gonna work out our calves. Again, beginners, let's go 30 seconds. More advanced, let's do 40 seconds. Ready? Let's squat down. Okay, go. So give me at least three shuffles to the side. So really try to get low. Try to keep those glutes at the same height as your knees. There you go. Five more seconds for that 30 second group. All right, 30 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, turn. Ooh. Those glutes, those glutes. Very good. All right. Uh, what we could do in between the rest, in between sets, since some people are resting, for those of you guys that do want to do some upper body work, we could do some push ups in between. Just to throw it in there and mix it up a little bit. All right, so for this next one, it's called footwork. So I'll just show you my feet. So, oh, too far. So, pretty much, I'm not. Forward and in, out and in, forward and in. So it should look almost like a hopscotch, okay? So we'll do 20 seconds with our right foot going forward, left leg going back, and then splitting and back. And then the next 20 seconds, we'll take a little bit of rest, and then we'll bring our left foot forward. So we'll alternate. So we'll make sure that every, or both feet get a chance to go forward, not just the same, okay? All right, we lost someone else. No, don't leave. Ready? 30, 20 seconds. Okay, go. It's like we're doing hopscotch. And if you can't do the hopping motion, try to at least do the movement. Three, two, one, time. Okay. All right, coordinate yourself. Now we're gonna bring our left foot forward, right leg back. Okay, so now we're gonna do this split. The side movements are the same. It's just the horizontal or the, I don't know what's, what plane this is. Sagittal, sagittal plane? It's not frontal? I don't know, forget. Didn't take anatomy in like 15 years. Ready? Okay, go. So left foot forward, right leg back. And my arms, you see my arms are just kind of loose, like Gumby. You can keep your arms at your hips. Three, two, one, time. Very good. All right, very good. Okay. Next one is alternating L's with pumps. If you guys um, haven't noticed or maybe aren't aware, your, your groin muscles have a lot to do with the flexibility of your core. Um, and this one <laughs> might prove that to you. If you're not, so this is, is called the um, alternating L's with pump. So what it looks like, if I was very flexible, my leg would be straight 
and go is not the best. Okay. So my leg would be free and alternating, but with the pumps, you see how this leg isn't completely straight? That's because I need to work on that flexibility a little bit more. Um, so what it's gonna look like with the pump is gonna be like this. This is the pump right here, okay? So I'm doing three pumps and alternating, all right? If you can't get your leg up that high, you probably have lack of flexibility right there at that joint. So, you know, that, that cost some money might benefit this. Ready? Again, 30 and 40 seconds. Okay, go. Go. Make sure you're alternating after three pumps. Thirty seconds. Three, two, one, nine. All right. Two more sets. Uh, uh. Yes, going? Kelly, <laughs> doing good? Yeah, I was stuck on the ground. That one was hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there's some, some core movements that for sure are more challenging than others. So. That was a tough one. All right, we have 20. All right, hopefully we don't lose any more. All right, let's take about 30 more seconds rest. We have uh, two more sets and we're done. One second. I forgot I ordered food online and it just arrived. <laughs> just give me one second. I'll be right back.
Sorry, sorry. I think that lost someone. I'm so sorry. Don't they say if you bring food, you got to bring it for the whole class? Come on. I know. <laughs> what kind of food you got? Is it protein? <laughs> so I, I've been getting a lot of uh, lately just veggies, white rice, egg whites, and um, and I think steaks. So steaks has worked out for me. I know a lot of people aren't a fan of red meat, but that's kind of like when I see the best progress, at least in my nutrition. Um, at least when I'm trying to lean out, that's probably the best for me. I've tried going vegetarian and it did not work for me. I tried it for about two months and it wasn't, um, I enjoyed the food, but I actually saw um, the weight gain. Actually, well, I just plateaued. I didn't weight gain, but I didn't progress. And I felt like I just stayed a little bit soft, but um, let's do one more set and then we'll start to cool down. I'm so sorry, I do apologize. Amazon says they'll be here at noon and then they show up at 10.30. Um, so. Whew. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I feel like I'm in trouble. Okay, so this one we're gonna do arm step back um, tricep. So this one, arms locked up, and then just bringing our kind of stepping back here, and then just extending our triceps. So you get a little nice arm workout, and then the little pump there too. So just make sure that you're leaning forward a little bit. So, yeah. You guys ready? All right, 30 or 40 seconds. Okay, ready? Okay, go. And we're 20 seconds in. Thirty seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. All right. All right. We have two more exercises, and we are done. Yeah, but I also take a lot of supplements. One thing I don't eat too much is probably fruits. Um, if I do have them. You know, it's mangoes, pineapples, my favorite too. Um, but I try to eat a lot of veggies now. Spinach, I'll probably go through a bag of five pounds of spinach maybe in like 10 days. Um, so right before it goes bad, I've gotten food poisoning really, really bad twice with spinach. So I'm very, very cautious of spinach. Um, so yeah, but, whew. Okay, um, next one we're gonna do is gonna be a squat with an elbow to hip pinch, okay? So I know the names could get long, so we're gonna just squat, pinch. So bring that elbow to that little angle here that's developed. So yeah, and we're gonna do that too, but raising our leg, okay? So we'll do the 20 seconds, or actually let's do 10 on our right side, 10 on our left side. So this is almost like a standing oblique one, also um, developing our glutes, hammies, and our quads. All right, ready? Okay, so yeah, my hands are usually up here. And squat down, one, two. Really try to tuck in that elbow in that groove. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Two lines. To the left side. Okay, hands behind the back. Okay, go squat. Really exaggerate that movement. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, 10. Whew. Last one. We'll be on the floor for this one. If we were to meet in person, I'd make up for, for what just happened by bringing you guys protein cupcakes or something. But unfortunately, we are not meeting in person, so. 
You guys are gonna have to wait. All right, so for this one, we're gonna do Supermans, but we're gonna do a variation of them. So pretty much, um, again, Supermans, you guys have done them with me probably, but the variation, we're gonna bring our arms back. So we're working on our lats too. So it should look something like this. So up and then bring those elbows towards our midline. Okay. You guys ready? Again, 30 and 40 seconds. I just burped steak. Kind of gross. All right, ready? Three, two, one, up. And try to bring those elbows back. Twenty seconds. All right, thirty seconds. Ten more seconds for you, forty seconders. Three, two, one, time. Woo! Very good. We make T-shirts that say, "I'm in the forty-second club." <laughs> All right, very good. Awesome. All right, let's get some water. Bring the water near nearby. Let's cool down. All right, so again, let's that reset position. Now, if you have any questions, this is kind of like the time to talk, um, you know, without any interrupting the workout. Um, but yeah, you guys could go ahead and unmute yourself if you have anything to say. Um, otherwise, let's continue with the cool down. So reset, let's bring in that heel in, right in the back, and forward. You know, last semester, I only had two of these classes um, virtually like this. So um, yeah, it was a bit, not gonna lie, I, I felt that there are some days where I felt really lazy. I would nap more during the day. Um, you know, I had, I didn't have as, I, I guess I could say a lot of commitments during the day. So, um, so yeah, so there's a lot of free time. Um, let's switch. But now that I'm a little bit more active and I have two additional classes, um, trying to be a little bit active and eating a little bit healthier, um, I don't get those cravings for those midday naps anymore. You know, I feel a lot more productive. Um, so yeah, and I guess another thing, um, you know, some of you guys ask what I eat. Um, I try to just drink water for fluids. Um, I don't, I mean, unless it's, um, you know, something that's like a supplement for myself, like the emergency that I just took or which has vitamin C or maybe like a protein shake, but I try not to get um, my calories um, a lot from like juice. A lot of juices have high sugar, um, sodas. Um, if it's available, I have some joint juice, but uh, <laughs> Yeah, I, I try not to drink that um, stuff. You know, there's a lot of empty calories. Let's do the, the stretch here. It's just, we used to call this Hollywood stretch because we thought that all the fancy ladies in Hollywood would sit like this back in the old days. Um, so, but yeah, um, that's one thing that I feel like has helped me. Um, those empty calories that come in sodas and some fruit punches and juices. Um, and then yeah, alcohol is another fluid that has a lot of calories too. Um, so a lot of people 
you know, I don't think about that. My some folks might binge drink, and they might have a few drinks to switch. And binge drinking with beers could be like eating an entire pizza in one sitting. So a lot of people don't think about that either. Um, so yeah, so I, I try not to, you know, just like I said, just drink water. Uh, Spinach, um, there's, I forget what nutrient in spinach is only released when it's cooked with butter um, or with the fat. So um, when I do cook my spinach, I cook it with a little bit of butter, um, some garlic, and then just uh, in the pan, just kind of sear it in. You know, I'm not going to eat like a spinach salad because I cannot, I, I really don't like spinach, but I know it's really good for you. Um, let's do the figure four stretch, let's bring that heel in. Um, reach for that leg, you could bring that hind arm across your body. But yeah, so I just, I like, it's probably a mental thing, but, um, you know, if you cook spinach, like a huge bowl of it might look like a teaspoon of it when it's cooked. So, you know, maybe it's a mental thing, but, um, but yeah, so I have a lot of spinach. Um, broccoli, cauliflower, those bright colors, peppers. Switch. What about the red wine? Um, red wine? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I know, no, it, it is a, and I know there's a lot of posters and pictures out there that says the, the benefits of it. But again, it's in moderation. Um, so, you know. Two a um, day? I'm sorry? Two? To two a glasses? Day. Uh huh. Yeah, a day. I mean, it depends how, how big your glass is. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so your glass could be huge. I've seen some glasses that hold an entire bottle in it. Yeah, um, no, no, no. Let's bring our heels in. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, as long as you're, you know, um, I, I think it, it's okay as long as like the rest of your diet is kind of, um, you know, already, you know, on, on a good end, but I wouldn't say that because some people, I've had some friends, uh, and again, I, I've been running or ran since about 2002, dang, that's about 20 years now, I'm old, um, so there's some folks that, you know, they, they still run a lot. They eat pizza and burgers and fries and sodas. And then the one good thing in their diet in their eyes is red wine. And I'm like, oh, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> uh -huh. We gotta make sure that um, it's not just um, that, that it's everything, you know? So, all right, let's lean forward. And again, I know calories get like a bad reputation. Um, you know, everything's low calorie, this and that. But, um, you know, I think if people are seeking to lose weight, they have to do it in a healthy manner. Um, you know, you can't starve yourself or just have zero calories, everything, and think you're going to survive off that. Um, you know, your body alone, um, if you're just to rest in bed, be in bed all day, just have a lazy day. Um, your body still burns about 1500 calories just to function and stay alive. Let's relax. So, um, so you do need to eat. Um, you need to have your calories, um, consume those. Um, you know, a lot of people say cholesterol is bad for you. If you cholesterol, um, your brain kind of needs it and craves it too. And about one yolk of egg, the enough. There's enough cholesterol in one egg yolk to to provide that, I guess, need for your brain. We're gonna bring our legs back and lean back. Um, so again, sorry, I just went straight through that. So left heel in, right leg back, right leg back. Um, so yeah, but there's some red meats that already have cholesterol. Like I, I just have egg whites, but I probably get the cholesterol from the fat and the meats that I have. Um, 
So yeah, it, it's just having a combination. Again, everyone's a little different. Um, some foods might not sit well with anyone. Um, I can tell you, I'm I'm barely getting into red wine, but if if I take a sip of red wine, I usually make like the ugliest face because it's not that tasty for me. So I I, I do avoid it. Um, it's not my first drink, but um, yeah, I mean, you just kind of have to find what works for you. And let's fix. Yeah, I mean, I think most of us know um, what works for us. Like for myself, I, I've always, I've either um, been very reactive and even poorly, or vice versa, I've taken care of my nutrition, but I think sometimes that's enough to, um, you know, enough for my health. But I think finally, um, maybe these last few weeks, um, I've been trying to do both of eating well and working out consistently. And not just working out, but also uh, considering my balance, my flexibility, and foam rolling uh, my health a little bit more. So all of those things coincide. All right. Last one. All right, Rofani, you can do your other one. So you should do this one here. So kind of like crab walk, bring that knee over and then try to have your chest close to your knee. So Debbie, yeah, you wanna get a little closer to your belt. You should feel that on your hamstring a little bit more. And again, some of you guys might be a little bit more flexible. And if you are, um, you could try a different stretch. I don't know if you can see Rofani, but yeah, she's doing kind of like, a, what would you call that? She kind of has the leg across with the right leg behind her and leaning forward. Yeah. Let's switch. And I always have water next to my bed. So middle of the night, drink some water. It's the worst feeling when you wake up first thing in the morning and then you feel like a mummy You're just gasping for it. Fluids. All right, so I'm gonna turn off the recording. For those of you guys at home, thanks for doing the workout. I'll see you guys next week. Um, but for any of you folks that have questions,